So I was just about to start putting together a batch of pickles and I have been asked time and time again how I have changed my recipe over time and actually I haven't. That original recipe I posted a long time ago online how to make you know easy pickles one jar at a time or as little as one jar at a time is the same recipe I still use today and this is the reason because this is my very first harvest on cucumbers I've gotten out of my garden this year. If I can have a huge harvest with a whole sink full of cucumbers, yeah, sure, I could probably do the traditional way where it takes 10 pounds of, you know, cucumbers to do it. But as a home gardener, we can only, get, you know, get a few in the beginning, and then as the harvest start picking up and getting bigger, then you can obviously start doing more. So in the beginning, I used to have, you know, like two or three I would pick out of the garden, put them in my fridge, and they would actually go bad before I was waiting for more to come in. And so it was really frustrating. So nowadays I just make you know as many pickles as I can depending on ever how, how many ever cucumbers I have and yeah it works a lot better. This year I'm actually using all homemade stuff right here or homegrown I should say. Homegrown cucumbers, homegrown dill, homegrown um, garlic, some dill seed that I saved from last year and then of course some grape leaves. So yeah the only thing I'm including in the recipe of course that's needed to make pickles that I haven't made homemade or homegrown would be the salt or the vinegar, which of course we can't. So yeah, if you haven't made pickles before, it's super, super easy to do and it's an excellent way to get started with canning. Okay, it's only been a couple of minutes and it's all ready. We have all the spices in the bottom there. We put all of the ingredients inside the jar and now we're just waiting for the water to boil so we can throw that in there until it's up to the top, not all the way to the top, but within a quarter of an inch and then we'll put the lids on and then stick it in the water bath canner and it's totally ready to be done. There we go, all done. I think pickles are my favorite thing to can and I hope you give it a shot. So tell them what we are doing today. Um, homemade air fresheners. Yeah, essential oil diffusers for the car. Yep. So they have which they're going to be written on there and then they clip on the um, air vents inside the car. And then they either have a pom-pom or a felt thing so that it will hold on to the essential oil when we put them on there. Did you have fun making those for me? Yes. Thank you for making them for me. All right, and here they are in action. Look how good of a job they did. Those are so cute. Hey friends. Well, today I want to tell a little story about my little friend here, Chamomile. Well, first of all, she lives in the chicken yard because she was, remember I mentioned in the proper introduction video, that um, basically her mom died. She didn't live on our farm. She was on a different farm, but her mom died and so she's an orphan. So we actually raised her inside of our house for the first month or so and bottle fed her. And then after that, it just wasn't as fun to raise her inside the house. Well, careful. And then she ended up, um, Basically, we had to put her somewhere, and she can't go with the other chickens. Hey, quiet down over there. She can't go with the other goats because the other goats will be mean to her. The other goat mamas know that she's not their baby, and so they're mean to her. The other goat babies don't like her because they know it's not their brother, their sisters, or whatever, their siblings. And so we had to keep her somewhere else because, yeah, again, none of the other goats would be nice to her. So we threw her here in the chicken yard. And she actually took very well to living with the chickens. So we still came out and we bottle fed her throughout the day. She had a nice little um, chicken run to live in. And then she has the chickens as her friends. Well, this made it to where she's maybe a little more, actually a whole lot more friendly than the other goats are. Just raising goats by um, bottle feeding them makes them a lot more friendly. Well, anyway, long story short. So we were at our favorite discount grocery store and we ran into a friend there. And later on, she called us, it was like seven o'clock at night. She called us and was like, hey, by the way, you know, my granddaughter's having her birthday party. She asked us if we wanted to come to the birthday party. And I was like, wow, that's really short notice because it was at noon the very next day. So I wanted to go so I could see her and her whole family. We really get along well with their whole family. So yeah, but I didn't have a gift and I know it's kind of rude to show up to a birthday party, a kid's birthday party especially, without bringing a gift. So I had this crazy idea to just bring chamomile. Not, of course, to give her away, but just to have a goat for everybody at the birthday party to play with. So we brought the little yard steak, we brought, you know, she wears her harness all the time, 
and we brought her a leash, you know, we even brought her her bottle so that she could drink a nice little water bottle for everyone, you know, they could feed her and it would just be kind of fun to just have a goat to play with. Well, anyway, it actually turned out really well, like, it was a huge hit. All the kids at the birthday party loved it. Huh, they all liked playing with you. Everybody thought you were so friendly and they were thought she was so pretty and it wasn't even just the kids at the birthday party. There were some kids at a different birthday party next to ours that had to come over and play with her. And all the adults, I mean, everybody was totally loving her. So yeah, even though it didn't cost us a single thing because we obviously already own chamomile, uh, it was actually good for her too because if we ever wanted to make her more social and make her into like a petting zoo style goat or whatever, she would totally be a good choice for that because she is so friendly. So as you can see, she sits nicely on your lap. I can hold her. I mean, we were ready to leave, so we picked her up and I held her. And then someone had to come over and talk, and then someone else came over and talked, and then someone else came over and talked. So I ended up holding her for like, I don't even know, 10 or 15 minutes. And she just stayed still the whole time. She didn't whine, she didn't get upset, nothing. Absolutely no problems whatsoever. Everybody who wanted to came over and pet her, and she was nice and everything. So yeah, I was just, I guess the point of what I'm saying is sometimes there's times when we're tempted maybe to throw money at our problems, you know. I didn't have a gift, it'd be really easy to just like, oh well, well forget about the budget, let's just get a birthday gift, you know. Um, but by trying to be creative and finding creative solutions, we can actually find things that don't cost any money that may be just as fun. Now of course I know not everybody has a goat, and I'm not necessarily recommending them bring your goats to all your kids' birthday parties. Um, but anyway, yeah, just there are different creative solutions you could probably come up with that they would probably end up liking. So yeah, that was basically where I wanted to go with that. Sometimes, what is, they, what is the say, saying? Necessity is the mother of invention? Yeah, I think that's what it is or something like that. So thank you Chamomile for doing such a good job and for being such a good little friend for everybody. And letting them feed you bottles and petting you and you liked it so much hmm. yeah so my good little chamomile girl I love her <laughs> you want a treat for being such a good little friend how about some leaves look what else I got I got apple pieces you want apple piece mmm yes we like our apple pieces huh we do got some more for you. Okay, here we go for hike number two. It was pretty popular the first time, so we'll do it again. So what is she looking at? Let's see. Wild alpacas. <laughs> or are they llamas? They look big. I'm gonna say they're probably llamas. <laughs> some rock seats. Fun stuff to play on. <laughs> it's head in the eyes, it's nose, it's back, and it's tail. It's supposed to be a snake. It's a nice view, even though there's all these big houses, these probably million dollar houses. Look at these rocks. Hopefully they're not turning out too dark. These are cool. Look at this one. Look at that. Wow. I don't know. Let's see if we can tell. What is it? Maybe an eagle? I can't tell and it's too dark. We have arrived. We're here. It's to the keyhole. Look at these rocks. They're beautiful. Let's go see. Wow. Look how cool that looks. Do you think? 
That's bees. What? I was hearing the buzzing and I was like, what the heck is that? Bees. Cool. Did you beat that wall, American Ninja Warrior? Beat that wall. <laughs> <laughs> Just silly. I don't know if it's picking it up or not. But it's like rainbowy, yellowy red, rainbow rocks. More rainbow rock. No wonder they call it Colorful Colorado. Dead spider being eaten by ants. It's giant. Mm. This is the most colorful trail ever, I think. It's this light color gray here. It's like this purpley gray right there. Over here, if we went down the trail further, which we're not, we've run out of time. But it's all red, which it was several times as we were walking on the trail. Light gray instantly changes to brown. Look at that. Changes so fast. These rocks are kind of blue. Not sure if it's showing up. Them are definitely blue. Blue. Brown. White. White-ish gray. Now from gray to red. Light red sort of at first and then dark red. Reddish brown and deep red. Very deep red. Peaks of the Northern Front Range. Pretty wildflowers. Oh, pretty wildflowers. And we're finished. <laughs> Frugal Green Girl hiking trip completed. Family trip. Number two. <laughs> yeah, watch where you're walking. Bridge. This is a pretty little stream. To drink? Oh, so it's city water, it's not a well. <laughs> Was it hotter this time? You were much more willing to do it this time. <laughs> more excited to play in the water this time? Yeah. <laughs> Get right in there. Go for it. Mm -hmm. <laughs>